devices. Convergence attracts the youth market. You ask any carrier, not just in North America, but around the world, what is the market you're going after? Well, for smartphones and converged devices, it's the youth crowd. I haven't seen a 16-year-old guy or 50-year-old guy walk into a, a store. And I watch people. Uh, can I have a smartphone? No, not going to happen. So basically, it's going after the early adopter crowd, which is the enterprise market and the consumer market. But these are two different animals. Is there a need for a smartphone? Absolutely. We want these devices to redo. We want these devices to basically create everything that we need in the business world. And the consumers, they want to play their music too, right? They want, they want to watch TV. So you have the enterprise and the consumer market at the same time going on here. The enterprise market, there is no single killer application. I'll say this again. There is. Everyone's looking. Everyone's asking me, what is the killer app for smartphones? There isn't one. There isn't one. Because um, there's no, there's no uh, killer application to drive smartphone uptake. The phone is no longer a single device, so it's actually categorized into specific devices. Let me go on to the second part, which is That means the mobile digital dragon. I've termed that mobile digital dragon. Has anybody here been to China? Can you raise your hand? Oh, a few. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> So look at the mobile users in China. I mean, it's essentially going right off the chart. It's the largest mobile subscriber market in, market in the world. And many, many people have two, a few SIMs. But the government, as of December, January of this year, said, anybody with a SIM module, excuse me, you now have to register with the government. Local and foreign, you have to register with the government. Too much spamming going on in China. Every time I go into China now on my mobile device, I get all these incoming calls. Mr. Weaver, hello, good morning. Welcome to China. It's like, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> in 2005, what we can see here is that Nokia still leads in the entire China space for mobile devices. They also lead in India. Second, of course, by Motorola and then Samsung. This is actually combined GSM and CDMA. If you look at the CDMA side, no, uh, Motorola actually leads that in China. And you can see the differentiation between GSM and CDMA users. China handheld uh, handset sales volume, you can see the volume there. It's approximately 20 million GSM and CDMA handsets were sold fourth quarter 2005. And these statistics are a little bit uh, slow coming in China. It's tough to get information, exact information at times. I wanted to show you this, which is branded handsets. These are just the branded handsets selling in China. Not necessarily the manufacturers, but the brand handsets. You've got the Taiwanese, mainland Chinese companies, quite a bit of those. So, would you think that they've discovered branding? Yes, they have, in a very big way. There are 60 licenses to manufacture cell phones in China. Guess what? A lot of these companies, and a few of them in 2005, went bankrupt. A lot of these companies are going to go bankrupt in 2006, in 2006 as well. And the reason is because the $25 handset is going to kill them on the low end. And those who haven't invested the past two, three years in, G in 3G technologies might be out of the ball game. Might be out. This is kind of a regional distribution document here. Kind of shows you, you can see, much of the development in the north, in the Shanghai area, the Yangtze River Delta region, and of course in Shenzhen, Dongguan, Guangdong area of China. With a few exceptions, you've got Kyocera with a factory way out nowhere. And you see with a factory in the middle of the country. Now, Yangtze River Delta. Has anybody here been to Shanghai? Can you raise your hand? What do you think about Shanghai? Shanghai regains its eminence as the financial capital of the world. Maybe Wall Street will have something to say for that. But if you look at history, a hundred years ago, this is where the elite of the world would go, Shanghai. Basically, finest resource for handset manufacturing environment. Everyone has.